Hi, welcome back to Therapy Designs. If you're new to this channel, my name is Kelly and this channel is all about creating print on demand designs using Canva. So if that is something that you're interested in, please hit like and subscribe and stick around. So in today's video, I want to show you not only how you can create this design, but another one and scale it out. So pretty much I want to talk about scalable farmer's market produce style designs. So if you would like to learn about this and learn how to do this design, go ahead and stick around. So I am on Canva's new home page here, and I'm going to show you guys how you can create another cool t-shirt design. Um, so we're going to go ahead and go to custom size here, and we will select 4,500 by 5,400 pixels. Um, I'm going to go ahead and optimize my design for the darker colors. So I'm going to just uh, switch my background color here to black. And now we are going to be doing a really cool, scalable, hugely scalable niche. And that is going to be sort of that farmer's market, fruits, vegetables kind of niche. Um, we're going to do it with pumpkins because pumpkin season is coming up here. So it'll be a great design for either like Halloween or Thanksgiving. So, you know, in the fall, you got all the, the good fall stuff. Um, but this same style and layout will work for pretty much any kind of fruit vegetable you can kind of think of. And so feel free to scale out tremendously. <laughs> um, but we'll just start with pumpkins today. And I'm gonna show you two different versions of essentially the same niche, but different ways that it can be done. And there are endless ways that you can do this, but I just want to give you a couple. So we are going to go with sort of a farmer's market pumpkin design. So I'm going to go ahead and start with T on my keyboard. Um, we'll go ahead and do caps and we are going to go with a uh, farm farmer's market up top. So that is going to go here. Okay. Another text box is going to say pumpkins. And that is going to be the one that's going to kind of come down here. Um, I do want this to be kind of curved, but then I'm going to go ahead and put a couple more text boxes. So one of them is going to say um, handpicked. And there's going to be another box here, maybe locally grown. These are all great words to use, locally grown. Here we go. Maybe one more text box, maybe organic. Okay. So all of our fun keywords, right? And so, and then the, the pumpkin's going to go here. So let's see how we're going to do this. The first thing that I usually have to do is pick some fonts to work with. So I'm going to start with farmer's market. And once I kind of get my group of fonts, then I can reuse them. And once I get my whole like template layout, then I can reuse it and scale it up big time. So for farmer's market, I am looking for a simple font, um, something that's going to be easy to read. Um, I want it to be, um, pretty generic. I don't have anything super specific for the farmer's market. I looked around and played with a few different ones. I decided to go with uh, just a Playfair. So here's different Playfairs um, that you can work with and you can do it in bold or in regular, it just depends on. And then there's the other one kind of looks pretty the same. I guess that one might be a little bit more narrow. Um, and so something like that I thought was going to just look really good with that. And then I was going to go ahead and curve it. So I was going to go to effects. We are going to curve it and we are going to curve it quite a bit. And I was thinking about increasing the spacing here because essentially what I want is that sort of half circle look, right? So there is your sort of farmer's market half circle look. And I do need it to be pretty big so that it kind of goes side to side. So something, something sort of like that would work pretty well. Maybe it's a little too spaced out there. Maybe something like that. And so that looked pretty cool there for my farmer's market. And then pumpkins was my other big word. And so pumpkins, I went ahead 
And I think I might have stuck with that Playfair. Let's see how that works. And that looks nice, and I can do a bold. And again, I can bring it out, and I can even space it out a little bit because it's going to go across the bottom here. And I kind of want it to go sort of edge to edge. So it's going to be something like that. These I was thinking a little bit more a sort of scripty fonts, but again, something simple, easy to read. Um, so something simple, easy to read, but scripty. I was going to go with Magnolia, Magnolia script right there. So you can see how that looked. And I went ahead and thought that that looked good for those. So really, I've only got two different fonts here, right? So I've got my Playfair display for both of these and then my Magnolia for those. These, I'm going to go ahead, shrink them down quite a bit. I also want to go ahead and bring that spacing a little bit closer so I can do line spacing here and bring that up. So that's 0.88, and I can do the same thing here. Bring that up. It's not going to quite be the same. I can use my rulers and guides here to see, you know, sort of how well those line up, and that's pretty close. This one might be spaced a little bit closer. And that looks pretty good right there. So those are nice. And these are going to come up somewhere in here and somewhere in here. Pumpkins is going to come up. And boom. So you can see the layout right there. And then we're going to put any pumpkin graphic we want here. And now you can see how we could scale this out. All we would have to do is trade out the word pumpkins for um, oranges and then put pictures of oranges here or apples or grapes or pears or nectarines or tangerines or pomegranates or figs or pick your produce um, and so you can see we can scale this out tremendously and so that is one layout we're going to do so let's just go ahead and pick some pumpkins here and then I'll show you one more layout so we can go with elements and let's just go ahead and go with pumpkin or pumpkins. And I'm going to go with graphics. You can do one pumpkin. You can do several pumpkins. I really liked this grouping here because it looked pretty original. It looked like a farmer's market kind of look. So I got the three sort of different pumpkins. Um, I did want to sort of angle it maybe so that I thought it was going to fit a teeny bit better in between these. I might have to shrink it down a little bit to get it to fit where I want. Organic, I can make a little bit smaller. I can move up in the page so I can sort of tinker around and play with everything where I think it might fit well, but you get the idea there pretty easy. Again, I can shrink those down if I want to so they don't have to be that big. Um, I can bring this up a little bit and I can bring sort of that up a little too if I want to, then bring pumpkins up. so. You can see how I can just sort of play to try to make all that fit. And that looks pretty good. I'll bring that in just a smidge. Again, I can use my rulers and guides here to try to have everything line up with the edge of the curve. And so that all lines up pretty darn close. Pumpkins could be a smidge bigger. So let's say I want to make pumpkins just a little bigger. Something there. And ta -da. so there is farmer's market number one scalable template that if I want to, all I would have to do is go ahead, hit duplicate page, take out my pumpkins, and change the word and put in something else and I can scale this out immensely. And so that was number one that I wanted to do. So now my second template, I'm going to go ahead and just use some of these text boxes here because I think it'll be easier than starting over. So my second template, 
was going to be one that is going to say farm fresh harvest. And again, I'm going to stick with the magnolia here. So I'm going to put farm fresh at the top and that looks pretty nice. Doesn't have to be too big. Something like that. And this one is going to say harvest. Nope, I do want it to be cows. Oops. And let's go ahead and put that back to normal size. And something like that for my farm fresh harvest. And then again, I can pick any fruit or vegetable I want, but we're going to go with pumpkins. So I'm going to bring pumpkins down here. Okay. And then I'm going to have one up here. This one's going to say organic. And it'll go here. And then this one down here is going to stay locally grown, I think. I think what we're going to do is make that one line and so locally grown would be down here and then the pumpkins go in the middle here and that is another layout. Now I did use some different fonts that we can try to play with too. So down here I had found a font that I thought worked well and that was ITC, ITC Benguet Condensed. Wow. There's a lot of those ITC ones. And so there we go. I liked that. I thought that looked kind of cool. I can make it a little bit bigger that way. I can even bring that spacing again a little bit closer. So now it's at zero. So now when I space it out, it makes pumpkins a lot bigger in the page there. And so that was another cool font that I saw. And up here, I had also seen another one that I liked. And so this one I did uh, Cyrillic. Let's see where it comes up, this one. And you can see there's not too much of a difference. Locally grown is going to go down here, organic up here. And now we're going to bring our pumpkins back. Again, I can do these pumpkins or the other pumpkins. I can also flip things too. So if I want to flip that so that I think it might fit better flipped, because then that's going to go a little higher, I can even, again, angle this Whoop. and so now that actually fit really well in the middle there i can even give it a little bit more spacing at the top if i want to Whoop. Yeah. perfect and so there is another layout farm fresh harvest organic locally grown pick your produce um, Really, there are tons of different layouts. So there's a zillion ways that you can go about doing this. So you can see this is just two different layouts, but we can see how we could easily scale either one of these layouts out. And there are a billion ways to do this. I've also seen other words such as, you know, f like fresh and juicy or sweet and juicy, depending on the fruit. I mean, so you can pick stuff there. I've seen ones that have locations down here. So if you wanted to put like California grown or Florida grown, um, all sorts of different ways that you can do these. Oops. So, um, so pretty much this is a great scalable niche. Um, and of course, we can do this for the different seasons. Pumpkins are obviously great for the fall, but you can do these and tailor them towards different seasons because different produce grows in different seasons. I mean, we could even go ahead and change some of this. This could be farmer's market, um, organic, get rid of those two or change them up. And this could be like eggs, like farm fresh eggs. Um, and you could, you know, maybe market that a little bit more towards like Easter, for example. Point is, there's tons of ways to scale this particular niche. So fruits, vegetables, produce, farmer's market, those are all great niches that you can go ahead and scale out. If you have any questions about this, drop it in the comment section below. I try to get back to everybody as quickly as I can. I hope you guys are doing really well with all of your designs and, you know, are ready for quarter four. Um, obviously, we've got October, November, December being the big quarter four months, but um, 
Don't just think about holidays. Remember, people are also buying gifts for other people that have to do with interests. Um, so it's not just the holiday stuff that's going to sell. Everything is going to sell at the fourth quarter. So you really want to make sure that you are up on everything, including all of your hobbies, interest type niches, all of your evergreens type stuff, because that stuff will also sell big because people are giving gifts. So just keep that in mind so that you're not just doing holiday designs. Um, uh, otherwise, uh, yeah, I hope to see you guys again next time. That's all for today's video. If you found that useful and would like to see more videos with helpful tips and tricks, be sure to hit like and subscribe and turn on your notifications so you don't miss any of the weekly videos. As always, keep growing and stay creative and we'll see you next time.